Welcome back, Canaanites. It's the end of the month, so I think you know what the deal is. Halo Escalation. Without delay, let's get right into the meat of the issue. Pun intended. Our story picks up right where the last issue left off. It seems that Kid Yar was able to get the drop on Rey, in short, because she was careless. Great. Just what I need. More fodder for the Spartan Four haters. Anyway, after eliminating the Kid Yar, she's able to re-establish contact with Infinity, receiving news that Palmer and Majestic are on their way to provide backup. Ray, meanwhile, finds a beat-up old Spectre using it to make her way into the pirate's nest. It's actually pretty awesome to see the Spectre return outside of Halo 2's remastered campaign, and we even get to see a stolen Separatist Phantom. Stuff like that always makes me smile. On the other hand, stuff like this gives me heartburn. Seriously, the faces are so bad that I actually get a burning sensation in my chest. I swear, everything else looks great, it's just the damn human faces. Anyway, at the heart of the pirate's nest, the unknown Sangheili meets with the queen of this band of pirates, offering to sell her Spartan Thorn. A deal is quickly brokered, but the actual trade-off is interrupted by Spartan Ray. With the Kigyar guards dead and the Sangheili escaping, Ray is able to broadcast Thorn's location to Palmer and gives chase to the Sangheili. In space, Lasky is taking on the measly number of ships that the Kigyar queen had at her disposal. As would be expected, Infinity is kicking ass, and honestly, it's about goddamn time. Meanwhile, Ray quickly catches up with Sangheili and takes him down. However, before a proper arrest can be made, Oni shows up to intervene. They order Ray to stand down and escort the Sangheili aboard their prowler, leaving Ray and readers to wonder what the fuck just happened. Our issue comes to an end as Lasky and Palmer discuss the aftermath of the events on Ven 3. Lasky notes that during his debrief with Admiral Osman, he was expecting the worst. He let what was meant to be a clandestine mission break out into a mini-war. However, he found that Osman was strangely satisfied with the outcome of events. When Palmer asks after the mysterious Sangheili, Lasky notes that Osman ordered him to drop it. Lasky further explains that, pursuing suspicions following his talk with Osman, he was able to call in a favor and get a look at a six-month-old Oni memo to the top brass. The memo spoke of a growing threat from a band of Kigyar pirates. This next part, however, makes me absolutely giddy. Lasky speculates that Oni had staged the lab accident and hired a Sangheili merc to steal the fake bioweapon. Naturally, the UNSC, or rather Oni, would send a couple Spartans to track down the Elite, the Elite would lead them into a trap, forcing Infinity to go all out and lay waste to the pirates. I love this part so damn much, and it's a really good twist that I did not see coming. Oni's actions in this story arc really harken back to the way we knew the organization in the early days of Halo, specifically during the days of Nyland. This is the Oni fans have been wanting back, and I hope we see more stuff like this. This is what we expect from an intelligence agency. And that's it for issue 12. I absolutely loved it. This was definitely one of the stronger story arcs, and the twist ending was absolutely brilliant. I also loved seeing some classic vehicles, and a Kigyar female for once. Kigyar are a matriarchal society, so it's utterly surprising how rare a female is. Anyway, looking forward. Our next four issues are a direct follow-up to Spartan Ops, and I cannot wait to get into the story of the Janus Key. This new writer, Duffy Dobru, has proven himself, at least to me, that he's got a pretty good idea of what he's doing. So, that's it for this issue. The next issue releases on December 24th, so I can't say for sure how quick my turnaround on that will be. Just an advance heads up. Still, my top priority is always getting the best review I can as quickly as possible. So, that's it for now. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you Spartans and Elites next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means more than I can express in a few minutes of audio. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it around on whatever social media you see fit and all that jazz. Thank you so much. Your support is everything. I would not...